Hey guys, this is Mike with TechniqueTV.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use BitTorrent. If you don't know what BitTorrent is, it's a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing method in which multiple users share multiple pieces of the same file across the internet. So to start, we're going to need to grab a BitTorrent client. So open up your favorite internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Now in the URL bar, type in www.utorrent.com. On the uTorrent website, press free download. Now the download will automatically start. Uh, save the file if, you, if it asks you to. Then you'll want to go to your downloads folder, wherever uTorrent is downloaded to. Now double click uTorrent in your downloads folder, press run. Now the install setup wizard should come up. Just press next, next, and press I agree. Now you're able to choose where you want to install uTorrent. I'm just going to choose to install uTorrent in the default directory. I'm not going to create a start menu entry, a quick launch icon, or a desktop icon since they're not really needed. You'll see why later. And now I'll click next. Now you can configure uTorrent. The first option in additional settings is add an exception for uTorrent and Windows Firewall. This is pretty much necessary since it will stop the Windows Firewall from filtering traffic coming from uTorrent. This will generally let you get higher upload and download speeds, so keep that checked. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend letting uTorrent start when Windows starts up. It'll just it will just add to the delay in which Windows starts up, so just uncheck that. Um, now you can select which files you want uTorrent to handle, basically open with. So I'm just going to leave .torrent checked, magnet URIs checked, and .bt search files checked. So now press next. Uh, uncheck this. You don't need that. Now press next. I don't like uTorrent hijacking my browsers like this, so I just uncheck these. Now press install. And as you'll see, uTorrent installs ridiculously fast. This is because it's an extremely lightweight BitTorrent client. So, now I'll just minimize that. Exit out of this. Okay, so now in your browser, we'll need a torrent to download. So, I'll just download an Ubuntu Linux torrent just for an example. So we'll go to ubuntu.com. Now we'll go to download Ubuntu. And since it's a torrent that we're going to be downloading, we're going to need the alternative download. Scroll down a little bit. And now you'll see all the torrent files for Ubuntu. Doesn't really matter which one you pick since this is just an example. We'll just pick the alternate AMD64. And now the torrent is downloaded. So we'll once again go to our downloads folder. Now we'll see the Ubuntu 10.10 .10 alternative AMD64.iso. Now you want to right click this file and press open with. Now, under Recommended Programs, you should see uTorrent. Just double-click that. Now, uTorrent will attempt to open the torrent file. And you can just leave all this stuff as the default. And make sure this is checked, the name of the file, so it will download it. And then press OK. Now, in this screen, you'll see that uTorrent is starting to download the file. You can highlight the file and press general if you just want to see how much you've downloaded, time elapsed, availability, the download speed, the remaining time, how much you've uploaded, and your upload speed. Now if you click the trackers tab, you'll see the sources that you're using to obtain the files for Ubuntu. So you can see local peer discovery, peer exchange, and then what are called trackers. Trackers maintain the list of seeders or peers or leechers who are currently downloading or uploading the file. Now a seeder is a person that has 
100% of the file downloaded. So that means they're strictly uploading the file for peers and leechers to download. A peer is just a person or a client that is downloading the file, and a leecher is almost the same thing as a peer, except they can also have just been a person that stopped uploading after they finished downloading the file. Now, with BitTorrent, it's generally good practice to keep uploading the file just to share with the community what they helped you download. So, we're just going to cancel this because I don't really need it. So, remove and delete torrent plus data. Now, I'm just going to exit uTorrent. So, that's how to use BitTorrent. I hope this helped you, and thanks for watching.